go ahead. Okay, this is the uh, picture of the Hotel Redondo, and that's the railroad out in front of it. So the railroad used to serve Redondo, and that's a 225-room hotel um, on the site that is now Veterans Park. This is the pier with the, uh, the lumber piers where the, where the boats used to come in. Then the trains went out onto the pier to when they unloaded the ships. There were three piers in this city. Um, this is the, the waterfront um, where all the nice views of the ocean are, as you can see. There's, there's a shot from the hotel down towards where the, our pier entrance is today. Um, that's the Lightning Racer, which was the wooden roller coaster that was down um, right at the north end of the Horseshoe Pier. Um, it uh, was removed in 1932. That's, that building is the train station that is now, um, the, the first floor of it is now the ballroom at the, uh, or the meeting room at the Elks Club. So they, they were able to save part of that building. So the first floor, they took off the second floor, and the first floor is now their meeting room. Okay, this is um, down at the, um, about where Carnelian would have come into El Paseo, and notice the, that's the red car lines and the cars, and uh, notice the banner going across the street, vote no on daylight savings. This is, I think, 1923. You've always been activists in this city. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what direction is that looking? Okay, you're looking, and uh, in that picture, you're looking south, and it would be about where Carnelian came in. Well, so right the, now, when so we're going to move to another south. picture. You know, I mean, where Diamond, this would be... Uh, the where ocean uh, behind those buildings? What's behind those buildings? Um, on th that stack right there, that's the, the stack oh. for the bathhouse. So oh. the ocean is out to your... On, on, in this picture, out to your right. You're looking south now. And we'll see a better picture of this, but that, that building right there is a three-story hotel in behind the red car. So south from Redondo Beach is looking towards Catalina. We're looking towards Powell's Verdes right now. So if it wasn't kind of overcast and we talked about smog, this is the, this is the mid-20s. Um, you can't even see uh, Palos Verdes behind it. There's another picture you'll see the Palos Verdes Hill, but go ahead. That's the, the railroad station um, for the hotel. So that would be out on the beach right about uh, just south of where our pier is now. Uh, that's uh, D&D Drugs is that building that has the flagpole above the, the domed building there. That's the red car station. The, the big white building with the flag on top of it, that's City Hall on Emerald Street. It was on the corner of Emerald and Bonita. Right next door was the fire station. Look at all the commercial. This is again, you know, all those commercial uh, area. That's our downtown that's now the village. This is uh, 1935 when they had the, the covered wagon days in, in, in Redondo, and that's um, the building in the background that you see. That's the old Daily Breeze building. So this would be right down on El Paseo, right next to the waterfront. Okay, now this is the boardwalk that would have run um, down in the area that we're talking about working on now. Um, this would be near where um, uh, Portofino Way and Harbor Drive is. So the ocean side is this side, okay, then the other side would be out towards where Harbor Drive is today, or El Paseo was. There was two lines of buildings here. There were the ones that faced the ocean and then the ones that faced the street. And we'll see some better pictures of that. Um, this is downtown Redondo. This would be um, on what's where Harbor Drive came up. The big white building in the background is the Fox Redondo, which was down um, at the intersection of Diamond, um, Pacific, and Harbor Drive. And this is all the commercial area for downtown Redondo. This is in about 1957, 55, 56, 57, right in their mid-50s. That's another shot of that same area. You can see the Edison Company in the background when it only had six stacks. And the one with the steam coming off of it, that's five and six. Those are the ones that make steam for them to make power today. Um, that's the the uh, Fox Redondo Hotel, and then the other kind of uh, tall two spires you see there, that's the bowling alley that used to be down right on the waterfront. Okay. Okay, this picture is 1908. And so that's 100 years ago. Those are the railroad tracks right along where uh, El Paseo went, uh, going down to the pier where all the lumber was unloaded. In behind that train is, uh, you can see the silhouette of the the, the Hotel Redondo, 
And then again, that's our commercial area. So at the time, the city had about 2,000 people in it. Okay, that's another shot of that same thing. That's that, that dome building. That's D&D &D drug. You can see the, the, the banner on the... This is 1935. Uh, the red car is running in Redondo. <laughs> okay, we can move from that one. Again, uh, that downtown area. But what's that density? What's that FAR? You know? Um, there's, this is 1914, and, there, and I've got a, a full, the full panorama of this, and there are at least a couple hundred cars parked in there in 1914. Okay, let's go to the next one. Again, you can see the three lumber piers. So we had three piers instead of one. Uh, this would be um, where Torrance Boulevard came down. This is now all part of the village. Um, that's Benita Street going over. And then so um, uh, City Hall would have been the next block over from this. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. Again, that's the lower end of that same street. This would be down where Emerald comes into um, Harbor Drive and, and, uh, and El Paseo. And that's the 1935 covered wagon days. And that's the red car that came from LA into, into Redondo. Okay, this is a shot, the big white building you see there, that's the first power plant, and that's, so that's shooting from right past, that pier was right out in front of the, the Edison plant. There's your salt marsh that the, the Conservancy wants to put back, so uh, that, that, that's your, your salt marsh. City of Hermosa Beach. And, and that's your city like of Hermosa yeah. Beach <clears throat> and Manhattan Beach up in the, so that's uh, shooting up the coast. Again, that's the power plant, the first power plant before, the, the plant that's there now was originally built in 1947, the first four stacks. The second, the second two were built in the 50s and then um, seven and eight, the ones that are now actually generating power were built in the 60s. In the cover wagon days. Now this is, this is where that, that large sand area there where you see the kind of uh, wooden structure going out, that's where the chart house is today. So that's uh, uh, Mr. Guthrie's leasehold. Um, that, that's the wall for the pier that was, I mean for the, uh, the breakwater wall that was originally built in 1939. And it stopped just south of where you see that, that thing cut off. And so you can see these lines of houses. This picture was taken in the 50s. And as I said, there used to be two rows of houses there, and where you see those empty lots next to the, um, the rocks there, well, they put those rocks in in the early 50s to try to stop the, the ocean from taking the buildings away, and they didn't succeed because in 53 they had a giant storm that came in, and it wiped out all those houses. That, that was completely full of buildings. And that's when I, I said the, at our last meeting, it was well televised across the whole United States about all the damage that happened in Redondo Beach. And that's when Congress started discussing what they could do to try to help um, improve our harbor and protect what we have there. Because you can see there's the Triangle Shopping Center, which is now where the hotel is. The, the dirt light across is where the, the, the sunrise is, the sand in there, before you get to the, the Edison plant. And then um, a later picture you'll see there was a parking lot put in there. So yeah, that, that's, that's, that sand lot there. So the street you see the, uh, where it bisects right there, that's where um, Burl Street comes into Harbor Drive today and would have gone across into Portofino. And like I say, those empty lots are, uh, uh, next to the rocks, those were buildings. Those were apartment buildings and houses until that storm in the early 50s. That's back to the hotel. So those are the pictures that Thank we you, had. Thank you, Pat. <clears throat> Thanks for that. I, you know, I, 